Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about cosmic strings. And cosmic strings are one of the most mind blowing things uh, about our universe. Now, these things aren't a scientific fact, these are hypothetical objects, uh, but they're absolutely in line with our laws of physics as we currently know them. So if they don't exist, then that is just a sort of weird coincidence and same way if they do exist. So these are these kind of objects uh, that may or may not exist. But why they are fascinating is that they are incredibly strange things. So they are absolutely enormous and really small at the same time. Cosmic strings are something called topological defects. And I know that doesn't say much, uh, so let me explain a bit. So just a bit properties about cosmic strings. Cosmic strings can be as long as the observable universe. So billions and billions of light years long. But their width is less than that of a proton. So something as long as the observable universe for billions of light years and less thickness than a proton is absolutely mind blowing. Uh, these things are incredibly dense, these cosmic strings. If you had a kilometer of cosmic string, it would weigh as much as the entire Earth. And there's some really weird effects associated with these things. So why these things are interesting or, or why the hypothesis happened of why these things should exist is uh, they come from string theory uh, and the idea was that these cosmic strings given they have such a massive amount of gravity these could be the sort of starting points for galaxy formation and, and structure in the universe so these cosmic strings uh, you know wiggling about in, in cosmic scales and time scales uh, could be the things if, if a cosmic string goes through a gas cloud in the early universe, then that would cause the gas cloud to clump together and form solar systems and galaxies and stuff. So it was thought that cosmic strings might help to explain uh, this formation uh, of, of uh, structure in the universe. So there are two theories of that I know of, of how to explain the birth of cosmic strings. One would be the one from string theory that you just on a really, really small fundamental scale, uh, everything is made of vibrating strings. They can be closed loops or, or open sort of strings. And the vibration and the way they vibrate in different dimensions, uh, this causes the, the sort of appearance of particles as we know them. So uh, all the different subatomic particles essentially are just different sort of vibrations in the same kind of strings. So one theory is that as after the birth of the universe, as inflation happened, uh, exponential, incredibly rapid growth of our entire universe, that growth, that inflation might have took some of the strings and then stretched them across the observable universe. So it's just taking something small and stretching it across the universe, kind of the same effect as as the microwave background radiation that we see, that is just quantum fluctu fluctuations that are stretched out across the universe. Something from the quantum scale stretched across the entire universe, which is pretty mind boggling to me at least. So another theory is that cosmic strings were born during uh, something called the phase transition. So phase transition is a similar kind of thing as water turning into ice or ice turning into water or water turning into steam it's a it's a change in a phase of matter the sort of state of matter so as the universe cooled the sort of uh, fundamental field started to cool down as well kind of including the Higgs field now uh, but the thing is the same way if you freeze water and it gets to be solid water doesn't freeze evenly all the time. So sometimes you get kind of cracks forming in, in the water wherever you're freezing it in. Same way might have happened uh, with, uh, with, uh, with our known universe. So as the Higgs field cooled down, it didn't cool down evenly. There were some kind of cracks that were really high energy and the rest of its surroundings were low energy, but these cracks sort of got trapped. And these might, might explain what cosmic strings are. This is quite weird and uh, strange ideas to kind of get a, get a handle on, but, uh, but this is the explanations for it. So cosmic strings, massive, incredibly strange strings. Um, so at the moment, there is still yet no proof as to these things really existing. If they would, that would be tremendously strange. So these 
observable universe-sized cosmic strings. There might be about 20 or 30 of these in our entire universe. These are strings, these can move around, they can intersect, uh, they can sort of do all kinds of weird stringy stuff. So the big ones, there are 20 or 30, and smaller loops, there can be billions because as these big loops, most of the big loops intersect themselves. So while they pass through themselves, they sort of pop off and, and create two new loops. And so at the point of intersection, they create a new, uh, they create a new loop. Uh, there are some types of these kind of loops, these cosmic strings that don't intersect themselves. So for the entire life, they just kind of avoid being sort of, uh, you know, avoid being uh, split uh, by some uh, weird random coincidence. So these strings uh, might move around at close to the speed of light. And when the strings intersect in strange ways, they can get kind of kinks and curls in them, these kind of weird uh, sort of properties to them. And these things can move uh, almost at the speed of light, uh, at the speed of light. And since these strings are so massive, cosmic strings are incredibly uh, highly massive, when they move around, they can cause uh, gravitational waves. And this is something believed that a way that we could observe cosmic strings by them moving around and causing gravitational waves might be one way that we could actually observe them. Uh, also, since these are commonly these sort of long, enormous uh, strings, one way would also be gravitational lensing. So you would see a kind of string line pattern of galaxies all being sort of um, uh, lens. This is an effect if uh, you have like a galaxy in between and a galaxy behind, then the light coming from the galaxy <laughs> Uh, galaxy behind, galaxy between, and you, uh, then the light coming from the galaxy behind, the light goes in all directions. Uh, but there's a galaxy in the center, so the light coming on the sides of this middle galaxy will also be bent, will be bent uh, back together by the center galaxy that has a lot of mass, and this is causing gravitation lensing. So you can see something behind something uh, in this strange kind of effect, and a similar thing would happen with these cosmic strings. Now, these were absolutely weird things and I don't really understand them in any kind of intuitive way but it's just really interesting uh, that these kind of things are proposed. How strange universe we live in, it makes me wonder. So I hope this was at least interesting in some way. Cosmic strings, fascinating uh, to read up on them. I would highly suggest if this was interesting in some way. And of course, uh, if you have any ideas, please share them in the comments and thank you so much for watching and take care.